Hey YouTube world, what's going on? Mark here from TST Industries, back in the garage with another installation video. And as you can see in front of me, we have a wide range of Womatech crash protection products. And behind me, we have the all new 2022 Yamaha XSR 900. And in this video, we'll be showing you the installation process of the Womatech axle block protectors. And I do wanna mention the installation process for each of these products is exactly the same as the third generation 2021 Yamaha MT-09. So the method we will show, it will actually be shown on the MT-09. However, for the outro, we will come and actually show you the finished product installed on this beautiful redesigned XSR 900 to give you the confidence in knowing we did actually do the work and install these parts on this bike. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin the installation process. To begin this installation process, we must first remove some OEM components. So we'll begin with inserting our 32 millimeter socket over the OEM axle nut. Now it is important to note that you wanna be gentle when you're doing this. You can mark up the axle, I mean the uh, swing arm on this bike. So please be gentle when you're doing this. You don't wanna cause any damage to this beautiful swing arm on this bike. Once you break it loose, you can manually spin it by hand and then you'll get to a point and you can no longer have to use the breaker bar and you can simply remove it this way. Now, once I remove this OEM axle nut, you will notice that there's a small washer behind it. You wanna push that aside as well. We will be reusing both of these components. However, we will not be reusing this OEM axle block. So at this point, you can remove this OEM axle block piece we are no longer going to use this. You can chuck it to the side. And at this point, we can begin slowly pushing the axle rod through the wheel to the other side. Now it is important to note, we are using a pit bull tire wedge to hold the rear tire up. If you do not have one of them, one of these pieces or two by fours to put underneath the tire, you may want to actually use your foot or have a friend hold the tire up while you very quickly remove the OEM axle and reinsert it. Because we have the tire wedge there, uh, huge shout out to Pitbull for that, we can actually begin pushing this axle all the way through and it should gently slide out as this is a relatively brand new bike. Now, as I'm removing this, I wanna make sure that the tire doesn't move too much. It will move slightly and that's okay, but I wanna make sure that the chain actually stays on the sprocket. That's gonna keep the chain tension relatively in place as far as the location of the rear wheel. Now, as you can see here, the other side of the axle has two flat sides and they coincide with the two flat sides on the OEM axle block. We will be ditching that piece. And as we grab our Womatech pieces, I'm gonna take a seat here and demonstrate this. But as we grab our Womatech axle block protectors, you will notice that they do look similar at a first glance. One is actually slightly longer than the other, and more so, you will see that one of them has a cutout that will match the face of the OEM axle rod. You will want to insert the axle rod on that piece first, making sure that the flat faces, the flat surfaces on the axle actually match and sit in the recess on the axle block protector. Now that we know that's good to go, we can reinsert the axle rod into the rear wheel and the swing arm. We want to make sure that our holes are aligned. I know I'm good on this side. Should be good on that side. You may want to wiggle it around ever so gently, making sure that we are good to go on all faces. There we go. Now the axle is sitting completely flush in the recess on the, OE, on the Womatech axle block protector. We can take the opposite side and you will notice one side has two punch outs. The other side has four smaller ones. We'll have the side with the two punch outs actually facing and sitting flush against the inner portion of the swing arm. Wiggle your tire around, make sure you're good to go. And voila, that is now locked in at this point, if you had to adjust your chain tension for any reason, or if you lost your rear wheel, 
you do wanna make sure that your chain tension is set to the manufacturer recommended slack before proceeding and actually tightening everything down. So please keep that in mind. Before we move any further, I would like to mention Womatech does include some spool slider pucks for this purpose. We have already pre-installed some silver stickers on these slider pucks, but Womatech also includes red and silver stickers for accent color along with them just being naturally black. You don't need to install those stickers. We have gone ahead and done so. Now at this point, I can go ahead and grab our six millimeter hex key or Allen key and slowly insert it into the thread on the back of the axle block protector. Give it a nice snug. Do the same steps for the other side. If you want to torque these down, please torque them down to 10 foot pounds and that should lock them in place. Now, very lastly, before you complete this installation, obviously we need to secure the rear wheel and the axle rod to the bike. So we're going to go ahead and have the washer sit flush and then slowly begin to thread the OEM axle nut onto the axle rod. Begin by hand, progressing it slowly, making sure you're not cross threading and you will be able to pretty much bottom out along that Womatech axle block. And now you wanna go ahead and grab your torque wrench, apply the 32 millimeter socket onto it and set your torque specification to 77 foot pounds. That is the OEM recommended specification from the Yamaha service manual. So please follow your service manual. Before you torque this down, you do wanna check your chain tension, make sure it didn't move around, please, set that to the manufacturer recommended slack. At this point, we're comfortable with what we've done. We've checked the chain slack and we know we're good to go. So I will begin torquing this rear axle nut to 77 foot pounds. And I'm going slow, making sure I'm not cross threading. I began this all by hand, so I know I'm good. Just like to be cautious. And voila, that is complete. Before we completely finish this installation, we will actually torque down the rear spool sliders located on the rear of the axle block protectors. And we will torque this down. And this is just a rear slider, I should mention. I say spool slider out of habit. It's probably a bad habit, but this is just a slider feature. It's not meant to be a lift point for a rear stand, so please keep that in mind. But regardless, this does need to be torqued down to 10 foot pounds and I've met that on this side, I'll copy it over to the other side. And with that, this installation is now complete. You have hopefully successfully installed your Womatech axle block protectors onto your all new 2022 Yamaha XSR 900. And as you can see here, we actually have them paired with our spool sliders. So we are hoping that all of this helps minimize the damage taken on in the events of a crash Spool sliders are a nice lift point. Axle block protectors do just that. They help protect some crucial components back here. Every crash is different, so please keep that in mind as you are shopping for crash protection. The ultimate crash protection is don't crash. But if you wanna check out these products or any other products we have for the XSR 900 or any other bike that may be sitting in your garage, please be sure to stop by our website, tstindustries.com. The link to these is in the description below. Questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the comment field below. And as always, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn the notification bell on. For now, this has been Mark from TST Industries. Catch you guys next time.